Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is Introduction to Python. If you're watching these videos, you're probably already interested in Python. And in these video series, we're going to show a whole range of basically all the basic functionality of Python. And then we'll be moving on to a new playlist video series where we're going to focus mostly on web scraping and web crawling. Uh, but before we get started into using Python, I'd just like to go over some of the reasons why people use Python, uh, especially when you compare it to some other tools, programs that you can learn. So when we really talk about data analysis or data science, you're really talking about these three heavyweights in terms of actually doing doing the analysis. You're talking about Python, you're talking about R, and you're talking about SAS. So we've covered videos on R and SAS already, so I'll include a card caption or a link in the description uh, where you can go and watch those videos if you're interested in learning those programming languages. So why do people choose Python over, over these two? Or what are some considerations why I should use the other two over Python? So when we talk about availability and cost, I think that's a really important factor, especially if you're a startup organization, your organization, you're, you're in a department that's trying to implement data analytics or data science or trying to use data more, and you, don't want, you want to move beyond just Excel, I think availability and cost is definitely a really big factor Though SAS is a, has a really great package and has many advantages uh, as well, which we'll discuss a little bit further. We talk about ease of learning. I think this captures it really well. And I think it really depends if you if you have a programming language, if you're familiar and you've learned other programming language, definitely Python is going to be really easy to pick up uh, because it is very similar and is it is a programming language. Well, well, R is, is a low-level programming language, but it was really designed by statisticians. And SAS, SAS is as well like pretty easy to learn, and there's some like pretty simple procedures and and steps like proc SQL that I think are are really useful. Uh, but I think Python's just a little bit easier to learn just because it is a programming language. Uh, data handling capabilities. Like, I think they're all a bit the same. They all do a really great job. I'd maybe argue that SAS does a little bit better job, but as well, like, all three can integrate into, into other database softwares, uh, which I think it makes it really useful. Uh, graphical capabilities. Again, they put, they put R on top here. Uh, I think it really depends on the level of comfort of your, of your program language, but R certainly has, like, ggplots, which makes it really simple and efficient to create these graphical interfaces. Um, it may be a little bit better better than SAS, uh, but again, depends on what your comfort is. Uh, advancements in the tools. Uh, so this is an interesting uh, thought, and I'm not sure I 100% agree. I think they've all made a lot of advancements and a lot of improvements, and I think this depends on what suite of, of applications you include in SAS. Uh, can really make a difference, but I think Python and R have many modules. R probably has more so than Python, but I know Python is, is developing a lot of modules and libraries that really take advantage of the capabilities of, of the program. Uh, job scenario, again, I think SAS, SAS is the clear leader, uh, at least for now, uh, just because a lot of like very large banks, uh, healthcare organizations have really built their uh, data analysis program and and structure around SAS. So I think there's definitely really high prospects. But to be honest, I think there's really high prospects for it when you when you learn the other two. It just depends on uh, where you're gonna apply it in different industries. So and as well customer service and support and community I think is really, really important. So I think R and Python have really great communities, uh, especially when you look at Stack Overflow you can pretty much ask any question and someone's going to provide you an answer in a very short time period within a couple hours. Uh, but SAS, again, is a commercial product and you do pay for not only the software, but the support as well. And they 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 provide a lot of really great support. They have a whole team of consultants that are experts in, in SAS. So just some considerations on, on why you would use any of the three. Uh, but I really like Python. I think it's really easy to learn the code is really written in English in the sense that it's very readable, it's very easy to understand, and someone can, can pick it up 
relatively easy and and understand uh, what's happening or at least get a, a an understanding, which I think plays a lot into it. So to download Python, you go to www.python.org, and Python is an open source program, uh, which comes with its pros and cons, but I think a lot more pros. And then you'll see here, there's two versions, uh, Python 3.5.1 and then Python 2.7.11. And I won't go over the details on why there's two different versions, uh, but essentially the, the newer versions with uh, that I prefer to use is going to be the 3.x, so in this case 3.5.1. Uh, so if you click on here, and then you'll see, even if you can't get to this page, if you go to python.org uh, slash downloads, it'll bring you to this page, which then you can go ahead and download Python. And then you can download Python depending on whether or not you're using Windows, uh, Linux, Unix, uh, Mac OS. So there's a lot of the different options there are available so i've already downloaded python and python is once you give it downloaded it should look something like this at least this is the initial shell there's also some like gui interfaces and uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about uh, i d l e i call it idle you may call it something different uh but here's a in this case it's 3.4 three because this is a older version that I've pinned down for whatever reason uh, but we're gonna be using Python 3.5.1 in these videos so just take that into consideration in case you're you're watching this way in the future and there's been some enhancements as well uh, so in addition to downloading Python I encourage you to go ahead and download an IDE and IDE is just uh, basically just a platform uh, that has a lot of really neat features and functions in addition to, to Python, like for example, uh, potential suggestions on how to improve your code, whether or not you've imported some, some modules that you're currently not using, uh, better ways to structure code, in, indents, all that stuff, all that really good stuff that makes it even easier to, to program. So the IDE that I prefer is uh, PyCharm, P-Y Charm, however you want to say it. And, but you can, you can use a number of different ones uh, that are available. You can use, if you want, you can use Notepad++, which I often use for quick troubleshooting uh, on the fly type of changes uh, versus uh, larger programs or larger areas. Uh, I like to use uh, PyCharm. Uh, so again, it's a really handy, nifty uh, program to use. I am using the latest version 5.0 point, or sorry, that's, you can eat, there's two versions. There's uh, both the community version and the professional version. So I am going to be using uh, the professional version in, in these videos, but you're going to see there's a lot of similarities. Just in the professional version, it does provide you a lot more tips and, and tricks, uh, in, but the essential layout is going to be very similar and very, very familiar. So here's the community version, and I do have it on, I think, Dracula mode. Uh, so if you go to settings here, file that settings, and you go to theme, you can do Dracula. The default one is this, this one here. By tiny, it's sometimes a little bit hard to read, so I prefer the the Dracula mode. And then let me see if I can pull up the other version. Probably a little bit confused because I have both of them open so again uh, I encourage you to use the, the community version if you don't want to pay you're not sure you want to use Python but if you are really interested in Python I recommend getting the professional version or if you're a student uh, it also comes free for a year uh, while you're a student So you can see here, it's very familiar. It's a really great uh, way of, of programming and organizing your files, uh, which I think it makes it really useful. It also makes it much easier to, to import libraries, which sometimes can be a little bit painful in, uh, in the default Python. But if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And you thought, if you thought this video was helpful, uh, hit that like button. Uh, we will be going into the basics of Python 
over the next series of eight, nine, ten videos, which I think will be really useful to you. Thank you and have a good day.